Welcome on back to the channel, y'all. It is time to do some elk hunting. I'm gonna start this video off with a bottle. Elk hunting tradition, hunting tradition. You carry a kill bottle. Last year, if you guys watched my elk series, I, I went to the woods with the born and raised guys and, and the hushing guys. Ended up tragically, ended up uh, not opening this bottle ever. So I got a message on here, it says, be calm, settle in, one, two, squeeze, enjoy the ride. LFG 2020. Even signed it for myself, like like I'm a big shot or something. Uh, so if you guys have followed my channel on hunting, um, three years ago I went to the Elkwoods for, for the first time, did not know what I was doing at all. And I got on some elk, never got close enough, just had no idea. Um, second year, went with born and raised hushing guys. Uh, they watched my videos basically saw that I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Helped me out a bunch and I learned a lot. It was a great hunt, but just hunting public land, uh, seven days in the woods, finally got on a bull and uh, ended up shooting it forward. And the mistake I made and the reason I wrote that message on the bottle is when I stopped called the elk, the elk was still moving. I never even practiced that shot of following and then stopping and I never settled into my shot. And so that was one of the things that the guys taught me was make sure to settle in. When you stop an animal, you're usually gonna have a lot longer than what you think, you know? At least a few seconds, maybe even five seconds to, to settle in and get that shot off and make a good placement. So that is the goal for this year. But this is different this time uh, because we've got a private land tag. So this, this was something I wanted to do to get experience and I'm hunting with my boys, um, Outlaw, Mullet Man, uh, guys I've hunted with before many times, but we've never elk hunted together. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was pricey to, to book this hunt, but I wanted to do it to get the experience of bow hunting in the elk woods and get a lot of, a lot of bugles, get a lot of setups. Uh, the more setups you do, I mean, you just learn so much out of each one. And we are just getting set up right now, getting the bows dialed in. I'm about to shoot my broadheads uh, at the target uh, for the first time. Been been shooting field tips, so let's see how they do. What are we at? 38. Boy, outlaw right here. Been in the woods for how many years together? Every year since like I don't know, six, seven years ago. 2015. Like that. Yeah. 2016. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. 38. I'm just gonna put my 40 pin just a hair low. Oh, round top. Shoot one more just to be safe. You can definitely hear that muzzy whizzing. Whap. Next to it. Here we go. We're on. Well, y'all, it started to rain. So we got the rain gear. Um, this is gonna be a little different than the public land hunts that I've done in the past where I'm basically packing in long ways, camping in a tent uh, at night, just carrying everything in my backpack. Um, we're gonna ride out in buggies and I'm carrying a mid-size pack, hopefully gonna be packing out <laughs> an elk on this trip uh, with the packs. And then um, once we come off the ridges, using uh using buggies from there you have to have a uh a guide uh to go out to go out with you they just don't let you go out on uh on private land and and go off by yourself i love doing that but i'm gonna be asking a ton of questions trying to learn as much as i can we're gonna throw on the the boots and uh and do some tramping hopefully not get too wet and hopefully be able to film this entire thing for you guys without uh without the water getting in the way. You know, I'm ready to see one up close and redeem myself. It's all about, it's all about redemption, having a good time and enjoying the ride. So let's, uh, let's get out in the woods, y'all. Start tramping around and looking for some elk to come in close. Just made it out here. The rain is uh, continuing. It's like real foggy, misty. Just want to show you guys. Just right off the bat, getting out of the mule. We're getting ready to walk in. 
immediately see a huge rock. It's about my height. <laughs> it's awesome. So me, Jared, and Mike are all really spread out on this place. So uh, it's just going to be me and the outfitter going together. Do a little walking, do a little stalking. May not get it done today, but we're gonna we're gonna see some activity out here. spotted he's up on top of this flat there's two poles but we can't sneak up of him from here we're gonna go down into a canyon we're gonna try to sneak around they're like probably 800 yards away right now just gotta peek up him he was coming out right there he should come out right there this guy
some satellite poles here, guys, that are just, they're small. And, uh, we're running out of light. We are literally pinned down with a bad wind. Good morning, y'all. Day two of the hunt. Last night, that last hour was the most incredible hour of elk hunting that I've ever had. It was just bugle mania. This cold front that came in has got these bulls charged up. We just gotta, we just gotta get in a position where we can uh, have a good wind and sneak around on some of these flatter areas where they were uh, where they were herding up, and uh, just get get on the right bull. Hopefully, we'll get the right shot today and get one down.
All right, y'all, we are back at the buggy right now. And uh, we did hear a shot today, so someone got one down. And uh, I think some of my boys are, are doing some bed stocking. We just, we came across some bulls that were bedded, kept bumping them, and I just couldn't get them to come in to, to my calling. They would kind of look and they get curious, but they wouldn't come all the way in. <clears throat> and I think at this point we're just kind of, just making mud here, trying them up, you know, getting them educated. So we're gonna take a break, uh, ride back, get a quick bite to, to eat, and then hopefully they're gonna be charged up going this afternoon, get off of their beds, get in the mood, you know what I'm saying? 